Digital marketing trends. So what's actually gonna work best for your small business going into a brand new year and a brand new decade? There's just so many options out there to choose from, but I'm gonna make it super easy on you to choose. In this video, I'm gonna share my hand-picked trends that are working in digital marketing right now to help you stay up to date so your campaigns remain effective or become effective for the very first time. And by the end, you're not only gonna know what the trends are, but you're gonna be able to pick out a few of them that you know are gonna work for your business and get even more customers going into 2020. I'm Wes McDowell, a web strategist at The Deep End, and this is the channel where I show you how to use your website and what's working now in digital marketing to supercharge your customer growth so you can make more money and build a business you love to show up for every single day. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the very best ways you can use the power of the internet to drive more traffic to your website and your business. But here's the thing, before you do that, I need to stress that before you go to all this trouble to get traffic, your website needs to be ready to convert that traffic, right? But don't worry, I of course have you covered here. So just click right up here to sign up for my free on-demand video masterclass on how to create and launch your own profitable customer generating website without the tech troubles, content confusion, or designer price tags. Small business owners like you are loving it so far and I know it's gonna be a game changer for you as well. So, all right, here we go on with the list. Right off the top, we're gonna to focus on video content. So the use of video as a marketing strategy has helped countless businesses improve their conversion rates and it's getting more and more popular as the years go by. And people like your customers just respond well to it because it's more attention grabbing, engaging, convenient and actually can convey a lot more information than text. And by information, what I really mean is emotion. So video can get people motivated and excited to work with you or buy from you way more than any written words on your homepage ever could. And with the growth of technology, it's much easier to create video content now with all the devices, software and apps that are readily available to you. And there are two popular video content marketing techniques right now. The first is branded videos. And branded videos are basically just educational or narrative driven. And with branded content, you can take advantage of all the benefits the video has to offer because it's engaging, it delivers tons of information in a short time, it increases conversions, and it's just more appealing than basic text. People will associate your brand with a helpful how-to or entertaining behind the scenes look at how you do what you do and they'll remember you for it. And the next type are live videos. So live videos are blowing up right now because they can just be really interactive and you can invite an audience to participate and join in. And some take part of the conversation in live videos, which is great for relationship building. Uh, you can go live on your Facebook, your Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn, and this really connects you with your followers or potential customers in real time. And also one really cool thing about this is when you go live, you can actually simulcast at the same time on Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn, which could generate a whole lot of engagement. You can use video content to make webinars, how-to videos, videos explaining your business, promotions, and that's just the beginning of what's possible here. And as you create all this content for your business, you could repurpose these into different forms. Like for example, I can use this video that you're watching right now and repurpose it into audio to be used in my podcast. You did know I have a podcast, right? So if you didn't, just click the description below to find out more about my podcast and you can subscribe to it right there. And I can also repurpose this into a blog post or a short trailer for my Instagram account. There are just endless possibilities when it comes to video content and what you can do with it and it's gonna grow even bigger going into the 20s. Well, it's the first time I've actually said the 20s. That's a weird, uh, weird thing, right? And if you wanna know more tips on video marketing and how to skyrocket your business, I've made a video about that. Just click right up here. All right, next we have Facebook Messenger Marketing. So if you think about it, Facebook Messenger marketing opportunities are endless. It hasn't fully grown yet. It can completely reshape the way customers will shop, book tickets and appointments, make payments, and just connect with you as a business. You know, stats show that Facebook Messenger has over 1.3 billion monthly active users, billion with a B. Um, and since I love going where the people already are, 
It's a really good reason to use and leverage this as a marketing strategy. Here's what Facebook Messenger marketing can do for your business. You can book appointments much easier with smart Facebook Messenger bots, lead generation using chat bots, get feedback and ratings within conversations, and deliver content. And here are some benefits that this can bring to your business. It can grow your sales because it's easier, user-friendly, personalized, and people are just more likely to chat with you over Messenger at those early buying stages rather than over the phone or email. You can build trust because of its one-of-a-kind connection with your customer. You can automate your business activity through chatbots as you know, this just eliminates the burden on your employees and your, your team members in answering the same customer questions over and over again. And it also automates your lead generation process. By the year 2020, Business Insider said that 80% of businesses are gonna be using chatbots. So if you execute it well, this has the potential to give your marketing campaign a huge edge over your competitors. And since Facebook Messenger marketing and chatbots are really still developing, it's a smart idea to use it to stay ahead of your competition and be in the driver's seat in the upcoming years. If you wanna know more about what marketing strategies are working on Facebook right now, you might wanna check out the video I made about it here on the link right here. All right, next up, I wanna talk about audio advertising, and I love this one. You know, it's been around in the form of radio ads for the past 50 years or more, and while radio is slowly dying, music streaming and podcasts are definitely on the rise big time. And streaming services, especially podcasts, have been proven to establish a much more intimate and authentic connection with their audiences compared to just about any other kind of media. And podcasts are so popular because they can stay with people all day long, you know, reaching them in moments where visual media can't, like when you're running, driving, working out, walking the dog, cooking and cleaning. I know I listen in all of those scenarios. So advertising on podcasts can be an amazing way to reach people based on their interests. And if you can get the hosts who they already trust to talk about your business, the trust they have in those hosts are gonna be transferred right onto you. But this tip is not just about podcasts. You know, streaming music services like Spotify have not only provided access to millions of songs and content from artists all over the world, but it's also made an amazing platform for audio marketing. They've launched a self-service advertising platform called Spotify Ad Studio, which makes it really easy for people like you to create and manage Spotify audio ad campaigns yourself. And it focuses on small to medium-sized businesses that are basically just looking to expand exposure of their brand and to drive action. You can upload up to 30 seconds of a either pre-produced ad, or you can just give them a script and Spotify will put a voiceover and music with it. And you can also add a clickable custom image that's displayed right on the screen while your ad plays. And also you can use Spotify to target users based on age, gender, mm -hmm. and listening preferences. Now that goes for music, which is a bit harder to target based on, or here's where it gets really interesting. You can actually target based on podcast categories they listen to. Now that makes it a little easier to actually find what they're interested in and target based on that. So think about what kind of podcasts that your audience might listen to, the, the general categories of it, whether it's travel, technology, business, and then target based on that. The best part is you could get people to hear your entire non-skippable, by the way, ad for just pennies per listen. It's expected that audio content, especially podcasts and even voice enabled devices are gonna become more unique and personalized. And we also expect podcasts will continue to become even more mainstream into 2020. All right, next up we have interactive content. So when it comes to creating an effective marketing campaign these days, you really can't deny the fact that content is still king. It doesn't even matter what type of content this is, as long as it either educates, solves a problem or entertains but it can actually do even more than that. You know, with the rise of interactive marketing content, your customers can do much more than just consume your static content. Your prospects can actually get involved with it, whether it's taking a poll, answering a quiz, or participating in a challenge of some kind. And this can personalize their experience and would prompt them to respond and react while educating or entertaining them on your topic. Now, this gives your business more engagement which means more views, and that leads to more brand awareness, 
which eventually translates into more customers. Let's think about Instagram story ads, for example. So interactive ads on Instagram stories have a ton of opportunities for being interactive, like pulling stickers and sliders that let people express how they're feeling about something. This doesn't only help your ads to stand out, but it also can generate more impact for your campaigns by encouraging people to watch longer. And another place you can add interactivity is in your email list building. So if you know me by now, you know that I put a priority on building your email list. It is still the number one best way to build your business, even in 2020. And I talk a lot about lead magnets to help you get there, which are you know usually some sort of checklist, cheat sheet, or swipe file. But you can definitely kick things up a few notches by using a quiz or a multi-day challenge instead. People love a good quiz and a challenge takes interactivity up to a whole new level because you're involving them at every stage, you know, promising to take them from where they are today to a whole new and improved version of themselves over the course of, you know, between five to 10 days. And if you wanna know more about how to create a challenge lead magnet for your business, click right up here for a deep dive into that. All right, next we have the rise of Snapchat ads. So. When we look back a couple years ago, Snapchat ads were so expensive that no small business really dared to ever use it as an advertising platform. You basically had to go through their sales team and their rates were just sky high. But since the release of their self-serve platform, similar to what Facebook has, their ad prices have gone way down. So now even the smallest local businesses can afford to play. And with this change, small businesses all over the globe have rapidly started adding Snapchat to their marketing mix to take advantage of the low ad pricing and the targeting options to heighten their brand awareness. But you know, why add this to your marketing strategy when there are plenty of similar options out there? Okay, so as I just mentioned, a big key is the low pricing, but one of the factors that could really push you to add Snapchat on your campaign is the rising cost of Facebook ads. Um, this may make Snapchat a great platform, a great alternative to keep the costs lower and your reach higher with a low click per swipe. Also, they've launched new ad formats such as story ads and premium placements that really allow more flexibility for targeting to get the best bang for your buck. Next, and probably the most important factor here, is the audience or demographic. So not surprisingly, Snapchat's actually focused on catering to a younger crowd. In fact, more than 60% of people between 13 and 34 are on Snapchat. And these people are Gen Z and millennials, and they have the most buying power of just about any age group. And they basically grew up with digital marketing, meaning they're much more likely to respond to it and buy from you if you've got something they want. So if you do your Snapchat ads correctly, this would be a great opportunity for your business to grow. This is a platform with so many engaging opportunities for you to interact with your customers, especially if your target audience are the millennials and the Gen Z crowd. But remember, to get the best results with Snapchat, you have to stay original, creative, and above all else, authentic if you want your brand to be seen as up to date and fresh. So try it, grab your phone and get snapping. So next, I want you to ask yourself, is your website ready for all this traffic you're gonna be sending to it using these trends? If not, I've got a free video masterclass that's gonna make sure your site is ready for all that traffic and for 2020. It's called How to Create and Launch Your Own Profitable Client Generating Website. It's got all my best insider tips and strategies you can start using today. So just click right here to save your spot and I'll see you there.